Hello, this is Terry and welcome back to my next uh, build video of my mini teardrop camper build series and in this video I'm going to try and finish the galley area. I've got to put in some drawers, some shelves, and some trim work in here. So uh, that's the main uh, task for this video and Depending on the time, I may even try to get on the inside and uh, maybe do some work on the inside of the trailer of some cabinet work in there. But uh, first of all, let's get some drawers installed first. <laughs> Okay, I've got my drawer finished. I've mounted my uh, drawer slides, so let's just see if the, the drawer will go in there. That seems to work fine. Let's see if it worked with the cooler. So, yep, works fine. Nice and snug. I think that's good. Okay, I've got my. Uh, I got my drawer in yesterday for the cooler. I put the drawer in today for the uh, Coleman stove. And that's some of the soft clothes um, drawer. And open it up and get to the end of it, pull it on in. Same thing for the cooler. Uh, does work fine. Uh, one thing that I had to do uh, for my Coleman is because of the knobs that's sticking out there, the uh, operational knobs. It would not work if it was actually set in the bottom of the drawer. So what I did was put a piece of plywood on top. Let me show you that. So the plywood on top here will actually give it uh, some more room to vent from underneath. And uh, what I'm gonna do is get some uh, tie downs and uh, put around the Coleman itself and the plywood so it won't go back and forth. So I got those drawers done. I wanna put maybe a couple more drawers here. And uh, also I'm gonna start on my cabinets. It's gonna be in this area right here. So let's go ahead and get started on those. I also want to show you something else, uh, like the storage area in the back. See down here, I still got uh, access to the storage area down in the back there to keep tools and stuff and whatnots in that. And the same thing over here in the back over here. So uh, I got plenty of space for that. So uh, I think those drawers turned out pretty well. Okay, for my galley cabinet, uh, they're gonna sit right in here. They're, they're gonna be 10 inches high and 12 inches deep. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut the face out and then the top out, and uh, I'll dry fit everything and show you how I'm gonna do this.
Okay, I've got my cabinet front panel and top panel on. Um, what I've got to do next is to work on the inside of that cabinet uh, to put some support braces around so I'll have things to screw into and glue. And uh, let's go ahead and get that done. cabinet dry fitted. I've got the cabinet top on. It's not screwed down or glued or anything. I've got the cabinet face on. It's not glued down or screwed in or anything. Uh, my next step is to go ahead and cut out the holes So uh, for my cabinets and then I got to make the cabinet doors. And I'm also going to uh, drill some holes from the inside to the out so I can put some screws in to the cabinet face into the cabinet top so uh, let me go ahead and get those holes cut out cabinet face on, holes cut out. Now I'm gonna cut the doors. Okay, I've got the galley cabinet doors on. Let's dry fit this and see how it looks. Looks good. Um, next, what I'm gonna do is uh, I just gotta take this apart, uh, do some sanding uh, and varnish everything in there and uh, mount everything after everything's varnished. Uh, but what I wanna do before I do that, next I want to put uh, at least one more drawer in and I may put two in, I'm not sure yet. It just depends on how much space. I would like, I'd like to have a, like a small utensil one here and maybe something uh, here for, for larger utensils. So um, I'll just have to measure and, and just see. So I'm gonna put one or two more uh, drawers here uh, next. And then after that, I'll sand and get everything varnished, even the drawers. Uh, 
even the drawers down here, I gotta take those out and varnish those too. And after that, I should be done with the galley other than just a few uh, minor trims that I've got to do. So, uh, so let's go ahead and get some drawers in. Okay, I got my final drawer in. I got my top one in. And in my final drawer in, the, the top one was supposed to be a slow close, but it's not. So I'll have to figure out some way to make sure this stays closed while I'm pulling the, the camper, because uh, it's not locked whatsoever. Uh, one thing that I was really concerned about, and I did a lot of measurement, is make sure I can access the uh, the bottom uh, panel down here, storage panel, and uh, I can even do that with the uh, Coleman stove here, so I can get in there just fine, get anything I want out of the storage department, put it back in, and that works fine. So the uh, next thing I'm going to do is uh, try to finish this galley up. Uh, I've got to still take this apart uh, and varnish the inside of that, put it back together, seal it, glue it, and screw it, and varnish the outside. I got to take the drawers out and varnish those, and then I got to put some uh, trim on the edge right here, right here, and um, I may put some edge on the, other, the bottom of the drawers here. And I want to put some type of galley rail right across here. So uh, hopefully tomorrow I can take care of that. And also get some uh, 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 cabinet pulls and drawer pulls that match. And um, I'll do that. I was gonna use some wood, but I think I might just go with uh, some antique brass like uh, the hinges are. And uh, we'll see how it goes. So uh, I'll get back on this tomorrow. Okay, I finished my galley. So let's take a closer look. Of course, you saw the drawers that I built. Uh, this one's gonna be for the cooler. This one's gonna be for the uh, Coleman stove. This drawer is going to be for the uh, pots and pans I'll have. This is gonna be for the utensils. And uh, I've got some shelf area here. Uh, the cabinet doors. Uh, and inside of the cabinets, there's plenty of space in there. I'll put either my food items and store some other uh, food stuffs in there. And the doors come down instead of sliding sideways because I'm using this as a shelf. 
and I can actually put things on top of these if I'm cooking or doing something else. So I found some uh, knobs. I put those on the cabinet doors and also the drawers. I think they look pretty cool. Uh, of course, I added the trim on the edges and I uh, also got some galley rail here and I put that across there and I think that looks pretty good. So uh, uh, I think it's turned out a little bit better than I thought. Um, I appreciate you guys watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video when I'm actually going to get inside the trailer and start on my shelves and cabinets in there. Thanks for watching. Bye.